Well, the Christmas season means that more of your friends and families are getting out to enjoy the holidays. It also means that other people are getting out as well, particularly thieves and robbers. The FBI says robberies and burglaries happen the most in the summer, but peak again in December, and there's good reason for this. New products and gifts sitting under trees, gift cards, and cash, way more than usual. Sidney Duncan, who works in advertising at the St. Joseph News Press, knows exactly how it feels to be targeted during the holidays. Notice that our back door, we have a big box in front of the back door, and it was moved. So I immediately started like looking for Christmas gifts, make sure everything was still around, and I noticed I was missing $200 in cash. That was a Christmas gift. But it wasn't the fact that she'd been robbed of material possessions that bothered her the most. It was the issue of safety for her and her family. It's just the fact that somebody was in our home that, I mean, I've never felt unsafe in our home. And it just, you know, it gives you that feeling like, ew, somebody was touching my stuff. Somebody I either potentially know or don't know was going through our dresser drawers. But the crimes aren't always against just homeowners and renters during the holiday season. The homeless population is also affected. We had thought we had them hid, but next thing you know, we came back and we, the blankets we have given to us they were stolen again this morning. David Jeffrey is a homeless man that has been a victim more times than he can count. He says that robbery from the homeless is a significant problem that no one wants to deal with, yeah. least of all police, which is why the homeless don't file reports. Thursday night, some men threatened him and his girlfriend, and the next morning he was robbed again. They were drunk, threatened to kill us last night. Then about a week ago, we got our backpack stolen with our wallet in it. People have been stealing blankets from us. We can't get in the cold weather shelters, because they're always full. So I've been jumped, we've been robbed of our personal things, baby pictures were in the wallet. I mean, I don't know what else to do. If you're a homeowner, make sure to lock up and keep the house well lit. And maybe grab an extra blanket, some food or clothing for some of our community that doesn't have a home to look after. For Fox 26 KMPN, I'm Jeremy Lyons.